So if you're like me, you need to find a way of making a square hole. That way you can use carriage bolts. And there's a lot of videos online of how to do it. A few jimmy rigs, a few right ways to do it. So, well, I, didn't, I couldn't afford the right way to do it, but I did go off and buy myself a Harbor Freight 20 ton uh, hydraulic um, press. Kind of for this reason, but I've needed them so many times in the past, this will just make life easier in the future. So, what I did to make the square hole is use a square file. Now this is a, a half inch um, file, 12 inches long, half inch uh, hole, square hole that it makes. And that's what I used. Now I'm a little on the lazy side. I have eight holes I have to do with these uh, carriage bolts. So what I did is I took one of those files took my calipers to it to make sure I had plenty of room after this taper down here. Let's see if you can see it. You know, it's tapered. That way it'll fit in to the round hole. And I just measured back using my calipers to make sure I had plenty of room for the half inch section to go in and tear out the metal. And this is the first hole I've done with it. And it turned out perfect. Yep. Uh-oh, now I'm stuck. Keep the hammer nearby and a punch because it's what I have to use to get, you know, finish it off. So, to get started, try and get lined up on your, your plates. That way when you start pressing, it doesn't interfere and jam. Now this is dangerous. This is hardened steel, um, which you use for uh, hydraulic presses anyway, but this tool is not designed for it. Now, just for surface area and to try and hang on to this, keep it straight, I'm using a uh, half inch um, socket adapter, half inch to three quarters. I have a three quarters inch socket here, which I got lucky and it fits right on the end of the, uh, the ram here, just right. So, put that on top of that file. I bring the jack down. And once it gets down close enough, then I go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll touch off just a little bit. That way I can start laying it up. Right about there. I'm a little crooked. Try and make sure my hole is going to be fairly square with the piece I'm working with, which it's a carriage bolt. It doesn't matter any. But it looks like it's trying to be straight. Not quite perfect. I don't want this thing to twist on me and break, shatter, shoot me when it does. Looks like it's lined up. Start pressing down on it. And I'm going to step out of the way. So I can cover my face. I just keep working the, uh, the ramp. Now I got a little bit of pressure on it. it. Should be going through the hole. I'm just being on the safe side. I'm gonna check underneath. Feels like it. Make sure there's clearance through that uh, the V groove in these plates. Don't leave the bottom on and try and grind that and twist my stuff. Open the garage door a little bit more so I can get out of the way. Doesn't feel like there's a lot of tension on it. I'm going to tap, check it, make sure it's still traveling straight. There we go, it's still traveling straight. And at this point you can see more than I can. getting easier I really wish I spent the more money and got the air actuated once I just push a button and have it work for me 
that is uh, about five, six hundred dollars more. So I figure I'll just have to be lazy, or, or not be lazy, and work the jack here. There we go. I, I believe I'm safe now, just because it's pretty easy to push through. Here's the bottom out on that socket adapter, just makes it easier for me to pound it through. All right, that's off. Now I'm not gonna move this around to another part of my shop right now. I'm gonna hammer it through. I'm gonna find my punch, there it is. And here we go. Nice, beautiful square hole. And I don't have any on me, but once I get a half inch uh, carriage bolt, it should slide right into that. All right, I hope you learned something today. And uh, you guys take care. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll be giving out more uh, tips as long as, and uh, sorry, and working on my pickup truck I'm restoring right now and other automotive repairs, which right now seems like Dodge Caravans because that's what I have trouble with. Thumbs up, please. Thank you for watching.